What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going with the location over the soldier's armor and the royal guard's uniform in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I'm going to be grouping these two armors together because, well, they're honestly kind of similar in my opinion. One is just a soldier and one is just, you know, a better soldier. In order to get yourself the soldier's uniform, you are going to need access to the emergency shelter, which is located underneath Lookout Landing. And while the criteria isn't exactly certain at this time, I'm pretty sure you need a total of five hearts or more, or possibly you need to do one of the four parts of regional phenomena in order for this to open. Anyways, after it opens, this is going to be a very long and winding path that the royal family used to use anytime that they needed to get out of the castle in a rush. And as you can tell, they haven't used it in a long time because there's just rocks everywhere. Or maybe the rocks are new because the upheaval. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Great. To the right is just going to be three ore deposits and nothing else. So we're going to head to the left. A like like to deal with. And after clearing out the like like, you're going to realize that above you is a rock wall that you're going to need to break. There was also a rock wall down here. I broke that. There's nothing really in there. Just a couple of a uh, couple of lizards. So not really missing out on much. Let's just go ahead, ascend up through this level, and continue on deeper into the cave, which has, of course, more rocks. Did I mention there were going to be a lot of rocks? And we are finally out in a large room. Take care of the mini taluses by yeeting them over to the side. Now, the very first piece of armor we're going to be getting, we're going to be clearing out this stone over here. I've already done so. There's going to be some mini taluses to deal with. However you'd like to, if you want to pick them up and need them, or if you have yourself a nice cannon on your back, go for it. Here, you're going to be finding a like like. We're going to be taking him out. And right next to where the like like was, we're going to be opening up this chest right here. And that's our soldier's greaves, our first piece of soldier's armor. Make sure to always break your boxes for some arrows. People keep asking me for arrow farming, but I don't understand how you guys are running out of arrows. There's also going to be another chest in here. And then if you look to the side, you're also going to be seeing a blue rock wall. Two layers of blue rocks. Three layers of blue rocks. Coming out to our passageway, there's going to be two stall coblins and one stall moblin to deal with. But at the end of the passageway is going to be another blue wall. Let's go ahead and take care of this. By the way, if you use a cannon shield like I do, here's a neat little trick. At the last second before it goes off, hold back. And then if you hold back, Link is actually going to aim his shield upward a little bit. So you actually end up clearing out more rocks in one shot. Behind the blue rocks, once you start going lower, there's going to be three different types of gems, a luminous, a regular, and a rare. And all the way at the bottom is going to be a pond. If you look over to the left, there's an enormous pile of rocks, and that's a Stalnix inside of there. We actually don't need to initiate combat with that Stalnix. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and climb up on here, aim toward this rock wall. These black rocks take three blasts. Once we're in here, there's a frost-like leg to deal with with another wooden shield and in the room where the frost like like was if you look to your left there's going to be a chest mine was knocked over in that explosion and that's going to be the soldier's helm nice now from this room we are going to be leaving and the stalnix is still in front of us but if we look to the right is going to be some blue rocks we're going to need to make our way over there actually i'm going to take out the stalnix real quick because i don't want to have to come back down here when i go for the medal of honor Making our way down the water path, we're going to be coming to some blue rocks. Two layers of blue rocks. Straight ahead of us, you're going to be seeing some more blue rocks. Two layers of them. Here we're going to be coming to another large rubble pile. Go ahead and clear yourself a passageway. And this is exactly where we want to be. There's going to be some stall coblins in here. And you're also going to be seeing one on the other side of this cage. Who can't really throw rocks at you that well, but you can you can shoot an arrow through no problem. Now in this room, if you look to the right, one of these rooms is going to have a large boulder in it. Go ahead and move that boulder out of the way, and you're going to be hopping down here. Now at the very end, you're going to see how this ground is a little bit lighter right here. This is where you're going to want to ascend up. And this is going to bring you to the other side of that locked door where that bulk goblin was, and here's a chest. Containing the soldier's armor. Nice. Now, I want to let you know, from this room, 
I'm just going to be heading forward to go get the booble gem, which you may want from here. And then after that, I'm going to be showing you the entrance that brings you inside of Hyrule Castle. So if you want that cave marked off of your map, then continue following along. If not, we're going to move on to the next thing. From here, we're going to drop back down and then we're going to ascend back up through the hole. Now we're going to leave this room out the way that we came. Walk your way on up all through the passageway and we're going to take care of these rocks. These rocks. Three layers of rocks and then there's going to be a split in the road, which is going to be having ourselves a shock like like with a royal bow. Very nice. And then at the very end, past that shock like like, you're going to be finding your booble because I need my booble gem. Thank you. Now we're going to go ahead and backtrack just a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and climb up this large, long vine. From here, you're going to see a passageway stopping at the top with some luminous stone. Go ahead and shoot that with a bomb. I felt like it should have been more luminous stone than that, but okay, cool. There's going to be some mini talus to deal with and then some more rock walls. And you have just successfully found your way to the end of the Royal Passage. And if you've got your booble gem, you've now marked that cave off of your list. Nice. Now we're going to be going after the three pieces of Royal Guards armor. And for the Royal Guards armor, we need to make our way to Hyrule Castle. If you already unlock the shrine up here, then that's going to make your life a lot easier. And our first destination is going to be right next to Princess Zelda's study. If you're looking at the first floor, this is her tower that's going to be over here. We're going to be heading to this tower right here. So from the shrine, you're just going to go on forward. You don't need to deal with the horriblins over there. Instead, we're going to just float around them. That spire that you see up there is going to be Zelda's study, but we're going to make our way to the castle bound side of that. On your ascent, there's going to be a few enemies. You actually don't have to deal with them. If you run past them, typically they're not even going to be touching you. There's going to be a Lizalfo on the stair over here. He's going to blow a horn. I don't like the sound of the horn, so I like to get rid of this guy. He also has a strength on the Zal bow, which is not a bad bow as just like a quick little grab. From here, we're just going to climb on up and we're going to be doing that again. That's going to bring us to the Hyrule Castle first floor. Here you're going to see a Knight's Claymore, not a bad weapon if you use something to. Straight ahead is going to be Zelda's study in there. Part of this floor might collapse on you. If so, you could just use recall. Inside of here is going to be a Silent Princess, a Royal Guard's bow, which is a fantastic bow for you and a chest with a royal guard sword. Always a nice weapon to have, especially once it gets low and is about to break. Heading back on over the way that we came, heading down just a little bit into this room. If you look forward, especially with ultra hand on, you're going to be seeing another royal guard's bow. So if you want a second one, go for it. And if you look back at the way that we just came in, over here is going to be a wardrobe hider thing and a chest. And that chest is going to have the Royal Guard's cap of Royal Guard garb. For our second piece of Royal Guard armor, I recommend fast traveling back to the shrine. From the shrine, which is on top of this big old rock, you're just going to want to go down. You're going to see a passageway of stone right here. We're going to head back down this stone. Once you make your way to the bottom, you're going to be making your way to the library, which is a very large and expansive room. As we land, if you turn around and then open up this one, well, here's the King's Study, and inside of the King's Study is a chest containing the Royal Guard Boots, our second article of garb. Also, there's a Royal Shield here, which is not a bad shield. You may want to go ahead and pick that up. Our third piece of Royal Guard armor is not actually in the castle, but it's on the ground of the castle near the first gatehouse. So we're going to be making our way to right about here. So I'm just going to go ahead, fast travel from the shrine on the ground. From the Kionisis shrine, we're just going to make our way to the castle, use Ultra Hand on the door and make our way in. Walking up the passageway, you're going to be seeing a door that was previously protected by a guard and you weren't able to enter it before, but now you can. Inside of here is going to be a door that you, in the first game, had to use Kryonis on, but now you can just grab the door and lift it up. We're going to be making a left going up the stairs, making a left at the top of the stairs, at the end of the hallway, we're going to be making a left and going down some stairs. Here's going to be the guards chamber and straight ahead of you right there is the chest that we're going to be going for. I think the intention of how this was supposed to be done is grabbing this board and then putting the board on top of the gloom and then stand on top of the board and then use ascend to make your way on up here. And inside of here is going to be our chest. 
with the Royal Guard uniform. Nice. Okay, let's talk about armor upgrades for these two. I'm going to put down a hard save right now because I think I have some of the materials to get the Royal Guard's armor up, but I think I also need the same materials for Soldier. I just need to double check all my notes here. Okay, Royal Guard's armor for level one, you need Boss Bokoblin Horns 3 and Bokoblin Guts 3. Royal Guard level two, you need Blue Boss Bokoblin Horns 3 and Boss Bokoblin Guts 3. That's gonna be bringing us to a defense of 10 for two stars, which is okay, I guess. And the set bonus is charge attack stamina up. The same attack bonus that you have if you already have like the barbarian armor fully upgraded, charge attack stamina up. Level three is black boss bokoblin horns three and Henix guts three. And level four is going to be silver boss bokoblin horn three, Molduga guts three and Gliok guts three which then its maximum defense is going to be 24, which is... Oh, look at all the bright colors. Honestly, this is one of the much more lackluster armors, considering that the Barbarian is a defense of 20 with the same with the same set bonus, except now you also have attack up three. There is no reason to do the Royal Guards outfit just for the additional 12 defense equaling three hearts. Not worth it at all. Let's talk about the soldier's armor. Soldier's armor is dirt cheap to upgrade from level one. You just need Choo Choo Jelly and Bokoblin Guts. Level two is only gonna require five keys eyeballs and three Moblin Guts, still very cheap to get. Soldier's armor doesn't actually give you a set bonus. The difference is it's going to have some of the highest defense in the entire game when it's fully upgraded. I mean, I think almost level for level. It's the best defense in the entire game. For level three, you're gonna need three Lazalfo Tails, three Henix Guts, and 30 Flint. The Flint is kind of expensive, but you've probably been breaking a whole bunch of stuff, so that shouldn't be an issue, right? And then for level four, we're gonna be looking at five Lionel Hooves, five Lionel Guts, and 30 Amber which, you know, gets a little pricey. I do have 30 Lionel Guts, which is nice, but the most important part to look at here is that you're gonna have a defense of 28. A defense of 28 on all three pieces of armor is going to give you the equivalent to 21 extra hearts. Wait. The Zonite armor does the same thing. Oh. The soldier's armor just got outclassed by the Zonite armor. There's no reason to upgrade the soldier's armor anymore. The Zonite armor has the same exact defense, which is 28 per piece at full level. I mean, yeah, the large Zonite is, is a little costly. That's, that's true. And then the upgrade costs are more costly. While these are more, you know, regular, easy to get stuff. Here you have to defeat Lionels. Here you have to defeat soldiers and captain constructs. But the fact that both of them are 28, there's no reason to hang on to the soldier's armor anymore. Soldier's armor used to be notably exceptional because it was the only armor that went up to 20, to, to the highest defense per piece. I don't remember if it was exactly 28. But now the fact that something that gives you set bonuses and individual bonuses, right now it's just energy up, but still, it's the same defense as the soldier's armor, so there's no reason to have the soldier's armor. It just became obsolete by this new armor that was introduced, and that's amazing. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna reload my save before I decided to upgrade all this and get all my materials back. You, you don't need the soldier's armor anymore. The whole concept was you put on really defensive armor and then you take an attack up three and now you have attack up level three and you have the highest defense possible, which was better than having attack up three armor and taking a level three defense because that was previously the equivalent of, of six extra hearts which that's the reason that you know this armor was superior now i'm just i'm just yeah i'm gonna continue rocking barbarian armor and i don't need that extra six hearts of defense now that this game increased your hearts from 20 max to 30 max yeah soldier's armor is doo-doo now and royal guards armor have been doo-doo okay great here's how to get doo-doo armor <laughs> thanks you thank you so much for being here so if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications. Okay, bye.